So somebody asked me the other day, what were the key things that had helped me to find real clarity and purpose in my life and what had helped to overcome that procrastination and confusion and some of those inner confidence issues that we all struggle with at different times. Uh, and I realised that as corny as it sounds, one of the key things that has helped me and definitely helps other people I work with is getting to know myself. Getting to know who I am at my core. Getting to know those real values that drive me to all action or kind of stop me in my tracks and leave me unable to move forward because something is completely against my values. But also knowing the patterns that I'm in, the habits that I've developed, my comfort zones, my safe places, the parts of my life where I'm happier to push that edge and and who I am at that edge and how I feel at that edge. And just asking myself a few simple questions has been really, really powerful in my life. And so I want to see whether it could be powerful and useful to you. I've written them down because I can't possibly remember all of them off the top of my head because I know my strengths and that's not one of them. Um, so I'm wondering when was the last time that you took, what, 20 minutes? maybe half an hour to yourself to really ask yourself some key questions like this and to dig deep into your answers. So I'm hoping that you will will do it now. And if you can't do it right now, then pause this and come back to it. And later on, take some time to yourself to sit down with a pen and paper and answer these questions. I promise you that if you dig deep enough, and if you put in what you're hoping to get out, then just asking a few simple questions of yourself will open up some, some insights, some maybe some aha moments, um, maybe give you a bit more clarity, maybe steer you in a direction that you weren't sure about going in and suddenly it seems like the right place to go. So here are my questions. The first one, really open, really quite basic, just who am I? Who am I? Anything that comes to mind, anything that screams out at you, try and quieten down some of the conscious voices in your head. Firstly, probably telling you why the hell am I sat here <laughs> doing this and writing about who I am and how strange and what's the point and that's not going to help. It's not, if that's the thought that you're going in it with. But once you've calmed down those conscious voices and listened to those quiet voices inside, those voices that speak from your instincts, from some inner wisdom that you have, I want you to start to just tune into that and listen to those voices and just start to note down anything that comes to mind. There's no right or wrong in this. I'm not going to ask you to share it with me. It's just for you. Who am I? If you need to pause, pause the video, write everything you can think of and then when you're ready, come back to me. So the next question is, where am I heading? Where am I heading? Interpret that as you will. Where am I heading? And then, what do I want out of my life? What do I want out of my life? How often are we really asked that question? What do you want? What do you want? We might be asked it in a way that we assume that the people asking don't really want to know the full answer. Maybe we're in a restaurant and the waiter comes up to us and says, what do you want? <laughs> well, you know, I'd love to feel a greater sense of freedom in my life and I'd love to quit my job and do something different. I'm not quite sure that's what the waiter's after, but seriously, I am after that. That's what I'm asking you. What do you want? I want you to really take your time and think about that and write some answers down and then come back to me. 
Okay, the next question. What fills me with joy? What fills me with joy? I'm a firm believer in the fact that feelings are things that we can create within ourselves. Emotions, that real kind of human evolutionary response of fight and flight and freeze are absolutely triggered within us and when they're triggered within us then it's very hard to do anything to stop that. But the feelings that come after those emotions or the feelings that come even without external events happening are very much in our control. So something like joy, what fills me with joy? Well, if I know what fills me with joy, then I'm going to start to add more of those things into my life. I'm going to start to create moments of joy for myself whenever I can or whatever other feeling that you want to feel. If you know what fills you with that feeling, you can create it for yourself. What am I good at? What am I good at? What are my strengths? As I said, one of mine is certainly not to be able to memorise these, I think, nine or ten questions without having to read from a piece of paper. So I'm reading them from a piece of paper. But what are the things that you're good at? What are your strengths so you know that you can work towards them? And the other things that aren't your strengths, it doesn't mean you can't do them. I could have memorised this if I actually really wanted to and tried. But knowing what you might need to work on if you want to get better at it and what you've already worked on, you're already competent at and therefore feel confident in. How fulfilled do I feel? How fulfilled do I feel? God, I mean, how often do we really sit back and ask ourselves that question? Some of us, I think, actively run away from asking ourselves that question because the answer might be scary. The answer might feel sad, might feel uncomfortable. But I promise you that until you ask yourself that question, really evaluate that, it'll be very hard to move forward with real clarity and purpose and, and really know how to drive forward. What drives me to take action? What in me really makes me move towards stuff and take action on things? What is that? What is that feeling inside? What are those things that drive me to take action? What drains me? What drains me? What takes that energy away from me? And finally, what keeps me stuck and playing small? We've all had times in our lives, maybe right now, where we feel like we're not giving everything that we could give. We're playing small in our own lives. And Imagine getting to the end of your life and then looking back and saying, I played small, I played small. I didn't give it everything that I had. So identifying those things that keep us stuck and playing small, it's super important to know what it is that we need to work on and overcome. Just knowing the answers to those simple questions in itself is super, super powerful. Really digging deep. When you feel like you've answered everything you can on that question, don't stop. Put something else. Add something else. What else? What else? Dig deep into every part of your being, every part of your mind and body and soul, if that's something that you believe in, and really reflect on who you are and what you know about yourself so that you can think about what does this mean moving forwards. I don't want you to shy away from this one. I want you to give it a go. When was the last time you gave yourselves 20 minutes just to sit there and take that time to reflect on who you are right now and therefore 
thinking about who you want to be moving forward. If you want the questions written down, if that's easier, then I've got them on a blog on my website. So just head over to my website, the details I'll just post just there. And while you're there, make sure to scroll down to the bottom of any page and join my wellbeing tribe where I'll keep you up to date of the videos I'm doing, the blogs I am posting, along with lots of extra useful tips and tools and tricks to a positive mindset, to inner confidence and all things wellbeing. Thanks so much and I'll see you again soon. Take care.